Well, the title of the work, um, as with all my dances for quite a while, is um, subjected to choreographic techniques that I locate through the process of each given work. And because in this work I was trying to diffuse these polarities between fixed state and constant change that I think is an is a element in, in all dance, um, I was trying to kind of conflate these two things so that I did that with the title, putting wrought iron, this very solid, decorative, man-made, calculated thing with fog that has really no determined um, kind of forward movement other than just wind and heat and, and weather. People make distinctions between improvisation and fixed work and I don't see that. I see that on a continuum and I really am interested in seeing how the two can coexist. Um, because I'm not trying to shape a narrative, I'm not trying to give a finalized uh, idea that's deliverable as one thing to anyone. I'm trying to create a field of information that people can interact with. So somehow to let go of being the author and shaping something kind of opened up this whole other arena of allowing something and I work from what I call an observational point of view. I observe the work into being. It gives me messages. I try to kind of obey them like a nurse would, instead of, I'm not the surgeon, I'm the nurse of the piece. And uh, it kind of has to happen outside of something like a good-bad paradigm because it doesn't necessarily um, behave that way. I, I'm looking for what I often call unviable structures, structures that couldn't exist in architecture. Like you couldn't have a cottage with a 50-foot pole and a room on the end of it, but at the ideological level you could have that in a dance. The way that I use the decor in the set is a kind of known quantity that invites people in, but once they get inside there, there's another message. What they expect there may start to disintegrate. Um, and I think that's also a replication of what happens with language in dance. From the title to the dance itself, you're actually exiting language and moving into this other form that isn't going to kind of... Um, be a reification of the language. It is its own thing. It's a journey away from that.